Next up on the 2024-2025 CVC Winter Sports Media Day Tour is the reigning Lake Division champion Edgewood Warriors girls basketball team head coach Randy Vensel. Coach, thanks for being here. How does it feel to start out a season as the defending champs? Uh, it's a good feeling for sure. Um, definitely feel like there's a target on you by, by winning, but um, definitely uh, a lot to be proud of from last season and uh, hopefully a lot of build, lot to build on from last year for sure. And now you get to shift gears and last year doesn't matter anymore. It's a whole new season. So give us an outlook. What does it look like so far in uh, the preseason? Uh, it's looking good. Girls are working hard, um, you know, Got a lot of points to make up for. Um, lost two seniors last year uh, who were a part of our, our success. But um, these girls here have filled in their shoes. And uh, we have a couple other girls willing to, to step up to the task. So, um, so far, so good. Uh, looking good. The girls are working hard and we're improving each practice. So that's all you can ask for. Yeah, you lost a couple of first team all conference kids, but you bring a couple back to, uh, you know, all conference players. So the, the talent is still there. The cupboard definitely isn't bare. But uh, like you said, you've got a bullseye on your back. So how important is it for these girls to come ready to play every day? Because everybody knows you're going to they're going to give you your best, their best game. And you've got to be prepared for that. Exactly. Um, so, you know, that's what we talk about. Um, working hard at practice. And then that way the games are easy because you already put the hard work in. So um, we just prepare every day, you know, um, like it's our last. Um, we should do the same thing in games, you know. Can't take anybody lightly. Just uh, give 110 when you're on the court, and that's what we talk about. So um, just hope that uh, that comes to fruition this year. Excellent. All right, Coach, I'll come back to you after I talk with the girls. I'll start right there to your left. For the folks at home, introduce yourself, name, grade, and position. Um, I'm Leah Guyton. I am a senior and forward slash guard. Yeah. All right. All right. So Leah coming in senior year, obviously you won that conference title last year. How much fun was that just to be a part of that? Um, it was a great feeling. The teamwork and the effort was there and working together with the group we had was um, phenomenal. And I would say that I'm very excited to see what this year will hold for us. As a senior, how important is it to you to defend that title and win a back-to-back -back conference championship? Very important. I'd like to keep it as it is. Obviously, you've graduated some players, so you're going to have some new faces in the lineup. How do you see things coming together so far in the preseason? Um, I think they're coming together really well, and I think the more we practice, we're, we're just going to dominate the rest of the season. So. Losing those shooters, you're going to have to have somebody step up. Who do you see stepping up so far? Um, I would say Annie Johnson. So she takes the uh, off the golf course and into basketball, and she's still hitting shots. I like it. All right, what, what are your goals for senior year, individually and for your team? Um, individually, I just want to improve as um, mentally for like our teammates and being there as a supporter. Um, I also, um, as a team, I want to improve um, the trust for each other and the the capability of not giving up and just pushing forward like and keeping our heads up. All right. Well, good luck to you this winter. Let's go to your left. Name, grade, and position. Um, Annie Johnson, Jr., and I'd say like point guard. All right. So coming in, you're going to be a key player in that offense. How ready are you for that challenge, just knowing that every team's going to give you their best? Um, I'm nervous, but with uh, losing two seniors, there's a hole to fill, so it's next man up. So. And how's the offense going to flow? What's the key to making it, uh, you know, hit, hit on all cylinders? Um, inside, outside. So if we work inside to our big faith vessel and then kick it out for a mean Avery and Carly Cray to shoot, then I think that's the key to success. <laughs> Everyone giggles so much during these things. It makes me laugh. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, looking at this year's team, how different is it compared to last year? I mean, obviously you got some new faces in the lineup, but as far as distributing the ball, shooting, playing defense, how different how, how different does this team look compared to last year? Um, It's different because now i got to take the ball to the court when I used to just let Katie take it, and it's just you have so much more pressure on you to handle and not to turn it over. When you look at this year's team, who, who are some of the players that have been impressive in the preseason? 
through their work um, ethic and the way they've performed. Definitely Avery Vensel and then Carly Cray. Carly Cray has been showing up as a sophomore, and she's just been putting in the work, and Avery's also been doing the same. What are your goals for this year, individually and as a team? Um, For the team, I definitely want to be CBC back-to-back. And then for me, just showing up and putting in the work and um, supporting my teammates. Outstanding. All right, good luck to you this winter. Let's go to your left. Name, grade, and position. Uh, Avery Vensel, senior, and shooting guard and slash point guard. Avery coming in senior year. You've got to be excited about that. But at the same time, every time you take the court, it gets you closer to the end of your high school career. How are you kind of managing those emotions? Uh, yeah, I think we're ready to see what the season holds. Just um, trying to make it a great season, and we're putting in the work right now. Practice. When you look at last year's conference title winning team, what was the, the strength of that team? Um, I think we were all a strong group off the court, just the same as we were on the court. So when you're all like a family, it um, helps you on the court succeed too. What kind of similarities have you seen out of this team so far compared to last year? Uh, we definitely have a couple shooters on the team and our, our bigs are – uh, evolving into better players too. When you're going to have that big bullseye on your back and all those conference games, what are you going to do as a senior just to make sure that the the other players on the team are focused and, and ready for the challenge? Um, picking everyone up, making sure all our mental states well, and that leads to um, good playing basketball too. Give me a player on the team that you think is going to have a breakout year and why? Uh, I think Faith and Carly Cray are both young, and over the years, they're just going to keep developing into better players. All right. And what are your goals for the year, individually and for your team? Uh, better mentally for me and then for the team, CBC win, and hopefully a run far into the tournament. All right. Well, good luck to you. Coach, back to you. One of the hard things about defending a conference title is – the, the mindset, you go in, ah, oh, we already won a conference title. It's going to be easy to win another one, but it never is. So how do you make sure these girls are mentally prepared that, you know, last year doesn't matter anymore. It's a whole new team. Yeah. Um, we're not used to winning conference titles. So um, now we've started a new streak. We had a streak of not winning them. Now we're going to start a streak of winning them, hopefully. Um, just next game mentality, you know, live in this game and never, uh, never look past your opponent. Um, so that's our thing. Um, just want to know, right? Win this game and then and then we'll look to the next one. What are the keys to victory for Edgewood this season? Defense. Always defense. You know, you got to hang your hat on that. Obviously, uh, just got to stop, you know, pressure the ball, um, score more points than the other team. That's always an, an easy one, right? So uh, all right. if we can play some good defense and score more than the other team, uh, those are our key ingredients. And then I talked a little bit about some of the other players. Uh, who are the girls that have impressed you in the preseason with their work ethic and performance? Um, Leah here. She's been a, a leader just uh, in, in practice and scrimmages and, you know, just giving the effort, you know, when you're, when your seniors are doing the right things and they know the culture and expectations, uh, the rest of the girls just get in line. Uh, like the girls talked about, um, Faith Fensel and, and Carly Cray are two sophomores that will have to play a big role this year. Um, but they both improved a, a lot over the summer, and, and hopefully they're, they're up to that challenge. Um, Jay Phillip will get a lot of time as the sixth man um, coming off the bench looking for some scoring and to help us on, on defense. And then uh, we have some role players in there as far as rebounding and defense and, and hopefully making some, some points around the hoop when, uh, when they're in. And that's uh, Heaven Rivera and Ava Tosinko and uh, Nevaeh Beals. Outstanding. All right, Coach. Well, I appreciate you and the ladies taking some time out of your day to preview the season. I wish you the best of luck this winter. Thanks, Thank Steve. You. Thanks for all you do. Thank you. Thank you.